a huge hello to everyone. I hope you're all well. Um, my apologies for the long absence in posts, but um, a few things were going on in our life. Um, mainly, I took on a new job, so that's occupying a lot of my time, and it, it got a little bit complicated to finish projects in a timely fashion. But we did try to um, advance the living room a little bit more. Uh, I had showed you that we painted the walls and we also sanded and stained and varnished the floorboards as well. So I showed you that in the last video, I think. So since then, uh, I've been working on the furniture a little bit. So I had this old cupboard for quite a few years. I remember um, it was given to me by a neighbor. She was going to throw it out. And this cupboard has been all sorts of colors. I remember when she gave it to me, it was painted red. Um, and then I painted it white and I used to just keep uh, jars of jam and preserves and things like that in it But I wanted to use it for the sitting room this time around and obviously it needed a, a facelift for that So um, I wanted to give it a fresh coat of paint and also change out the handles a little bit. So that's what I did The paint I chose for the cupboard is uh, by Libero and it's called Jaune Calisson it's a beautiful sort of, um, not really a mustard colour, but uh, halfway between, between a yellow and an orange. And the reason I chose it is I wanted to fit the colour in with these beautiful curtains that I bought years ago, well before we even had a project to buy a house. Um, I bought them and I put them in storage, just waiting for the day when I could bring them out and, and hang them up in my dream home. And so that moment has finally come. Uh, they're beautiful velvet curtains, sort of an ochre colour, and they really are the central point uh, from which I chose all the colours and everything that I want to put into this room has come from these curtains. They're my inspiration. So um, as you can see, I painted the cupboard in this beautiful yellow colour and I think it goes really well. It picks up the colour that appears when the light shines on the curtains a little bit. And as you can see, I painted the drawers in a gold paint and I actually changed my mind about that when I saw them. It just didn't work. I, I had it pictured differently in my mind and when I saw it, it, it wasn't working at all. So I repainted them just the same colour and I figured that the best way to add a little bit of visual interest to the cupboard was to change out the handles instead. But you can see that it goes lovely with the grey door and then the, the white walls. And here are the, um, the handles that I chose to put onto the cupboard. They're this lovely little sweet um, pumpkin style handles uh, in black and with brass tones in them as well. Uh, I think just they really lift the cupboard. They make it from something quite simple with simple plain lines into something else or something a little bit more interesting to look at. Um, so I'm really happy with how that turned out. I also got around to hanging up the curtains and as long as the curtains are, they're actually not as long as I would have liked them to be. I would have loved if they had actually come down and touched, just barely touched the floor and they do fall short of that unfortunately, but I have an idea of how I can lengthen them by adding lace to the bottom and I'll look at doing that at a later stage. I found these uh, rings and hooks on Amazon, they came as a little kit. Um, and that permitted me to sort of um, adapt this old system of hanging curtains. Usually you'd have those rails where the, the hook actually slides into the rail. Uh, they're horrible old things, I don't like them. So I was glad to be able to find these rings that just thread onto it and then the bar can run through the rings uh, in the usual way that curtains are hung nowadays. It is a good size curtain, but they're not lined. I might line them at a later stage as well, depending on how much um, insulation we need in the room. If I notice they're a bit cold, uh, I can always line them at a later stage, but they look lovely. I just chose a very simple curtain rail, a black one, uh, just something understated so that the curtains can shine. I think I showed you before in the last video also um, this old fireplace 
that used to be uh, in this room. They took out the fireplace and they actually blocked up the, uh, the chimney. So I want to install a false fireplace. I think that would look really lovely. Uh, it would be a nice focal point. And I found these online. They're actually not very expensive. And something else that we are looking at is which type of couch. I did think about matching the curtains, but I think in the end, it's better to choose a neutral color. And that way, if ever I want to change paint colors or accessory colors, I'll be able to do that and the couch will be timeless. So um, we've ordered one and I'm going to be showing that to you in the second part of this uh, sitting room renovation because um, I just can't show you everything at the moment. It's not finished and I'm really making you wait. So uh, I wanted to, to get on and, and show you our progress for the moment. Um, spring is starting to show itself, which is fantastic. It's still a little nippy outside, but from time to time we have warmer days. We're starting to see the flowers come out and these cute little beetles are all waking up and coming out of their hibernation. And uh, I'm just look, really, really looking forward to getting the garden started um, and, and getting the, the trees planted. So we went ahead and we ordered our seeds last year. We didn't have a garden. And this year we, we really wanted to make sure we had a garden. So we ordered our seeds online. They've arrived. I'm looking forward to getting started on, on sowing them. We also had a lovely moment where we um, broke ground on planting our very first tree. Um, it was lovely to film Nicola doing this with the, the backdrop of the, our bare field and knowing that someday it'll just be full of lines and lines of beautiful fruit trees. So that was an exciting moment for us as well. l'avantage de ça tu penses que ça erre un peu le la, le, la terre ça fait un trou <rire> par ça je veux dire l'arbre elle s'est barre <rire> ah oui c'est vrai que c'est pas We spaced the trees out five meters, approximately five meters apart. And uh, these trees were actually given to us by our friend and our, uh, she was also our neighbor when we rented beforehand. Uh, she's from England and she gave us these trees. She brought them over from England for us. And uh, it was such a real pleasure to start our orchard off with these lovely little trees that she brought over to us from England. So uh, we really appreciated that. So thank you for watching and following along with us. Um, I do have a plan this year to update my equipment a little bit and get some clearer footage uh, in my videos. And we've also invested in a drone. So I'm looking forward to being able to show you some aerial shots of our land and perhaps our village as well and some of the surrounding area. So I'm really looking forward to that as well. So I'll talk to you really soon. And in the meantime, take care.